first it's an incredible moment, you know, to be in the middle of the Pacific with such such an airplane using just the sun as the source of energy. Uh, I'm uh, currently starting to recharge all the batteries uh, to be able to go to the uh, following nights. But with this airplane, you know, you get the feeling you can fly forever. It's incredible. So I'm, uh, I'm building my home here. I try to feel at home and I try to be as sustainable as the airplane is sustainable today. We're looking at the map on your web page at the moment. The plane looks as if it's going back to where you've come from. Is that because you're in a holding pattern at the moment? No, I mean, if I, you know, if I would make, make a joke, I, I would say it's a demonstration that we can stay in, in the air forever. No, we just adjust for the weather and uh, we'll have to cross a small front but we'd like to make it uh, in climb when I will be at high altitude, about 9,000 meters, and uh, therefore I'll be able to fly over the clouds, over this bad weather, and it makes it, of course, safer and possible. And I've got to ask you the question that lots of our viewers keep asking us. What happens, Andre, if the worst was to happen and you have to ditch in the Pacific Ocean? What are the preparations for that? Uh, as you say, this is the worst, and we have a lot of different uh, uh, plans before reaching this point, but I have a parachute, you can see uh, my life preserver here, which is on me all the time, so I can simply jettison uh, the, uh, the door, uh, uh, get out of the airplane, use the parachute, and I have embedded in my uh, backpack a small life raft, which I can use, and we, which could save me for two, three days, until the board could pick me up uh, later on. I'm not a racist. You're Nobody, not a racist? No, I'm not a racist. Oh. Nobody is a racist that is in the Klan. Oh. The prospects for Professor John All were dire. I got trapped here instead. On this ledge, my arm I can't use.